Arab Image Foundation. Collecting photos for 20 years. Dressed in a white t-shirt and raised on another protester's shoulders, a man in Lebanon joins a demonstration in support of Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser in 1956, just two years before Lebanon's first civil war in 1958. In 1970, a brand new hospital in Qatar sits in a lonely spot, no traffic interrupting the road ahead. A group of boys take a school trip in Kuwait to Al Fintas in 1950, accompanied by smartly dressed teachers. And two of the Arab world's most celebrated performers are seen in a movie still, with Egyptian Samir Gamal watching over Syrian Farid El Atrash as he fixes a car with the pyramids in the near distance. These are just some of the 15 images on show in this gallery, a taste of Middle Eastern history in its rich tapestry. As one of the most prominent cultural institutions in the Middle East, the Arab Image Foundation has led the way in the collection, preservation and study of photographs from the region. Established in Beirut, Lebanon, in 1997, AIF has spent 20 years contributing to a greater cultural, political and social understanding of the Middle East. Today, it holds hundreds of thousands of images from not only its home country but also the likes of Iraq, Jordan, Palestine, Syria and Tunisia, as well as the wider Arab diaspora. In 1997, the AIF embarked on an ambitious project to collect samples from the work of photographers in the Middle East with the aim of writing the history of a practice that HADNT been told prior to this date, Akram Zartari, AIF co-founder told Al Jazeera. Many in the region DIDNT then consider photographs worth keeping unless for the emotional ties to the subjects in it, said Zartari, a Lebanese photographer and filmmaker. When we started the AIF, we insisted on writing the history of this practice because we wanted to research what photographers' daily work was like. We were interested how they worked, what material they used, how they made aesthetic choices and who taught them.